for me personally, had no uh, no family members really into music at all, which is surprising me. But uh, mostly uh, my neighbors. Uh, I think my my neighbor growing up across the street was uh, big in the Black Sabbath, and Dio, and Iron Maiden and stuff like that. That's what kind of turned me on to heavy metal and. Uh, <clears throat> Just the sound of it, just the heavy guitars and just the, you know, the power that it had, that kind of turned me on to, to hard rock and metal. And then just starting to go to concerts as a teenager, and I knew once I seen a band up on stage and, and being in an arena and seeing the power that they had and how they uh, captivated an audience, it's just something I, I wanted to be a part of. <clears throat> Pretty much the same thing. I didn't have any family members, family members into music. Just like every cliche you ever heard with a drummer out there, I just started beating on my mom's pots and pans, and it just kind of developed from there, really. Um, I mean, starting you know, as a kid and growing up and being in local bands, it was it was for for fun because we loved music, we loved playing, and then you know once we were playing. Uh, local shows and building up a fan base and we played a few cover songs but started writing our own material and, and people were seemed more interested in our songs after a while they start getting more familiar with it and I've known Mike for a long time we actually first got together probably in 1992 I think for the first time and I just seen the dedication that he had in the band that he was in and we used to rehearse by each other and it was always in the back of my mind if things ever fell apart with my band that you know you, you have certain guys that you have in mind that you would like to put a band together with and Mike was that for me I just seen the dedication he had he'd always be that at his rehearsal spot practicing and playing with even without his band and putting in the time and and uh, you know but we got together it was it was we do it because it's fun and we love to do it but we definitely wanted to do it for the long haul we wanted to make a career out of it It came together pretty quick. Um, shortly after we got David in 1996, we like three months after being together, we had our first show. So we had to come up with a name for the band. David had suggested the name, uh, basically based off of how the way society views people that are different. You know, they they look at us as as if we're the disturbed ones because you have piercings in your face, or you have long hair, or you listen to metal music. So usually when people are scared of what they don't know, they consider us being the ones that are disturbed. Uh, I think it's important for hard rock and heavy metal for the fans to let their voices be heard. You know, we never imagined that we would accomplish something like that even one time, but four times in a row is uh, pretty overwhelming. But like I said, it shows each time in a, in a day and age that is dominated by hip hop and pop music, it's nice for the heavy metal community to speak up and remind people the importance of this genre as well. I mean, I guess it's the Grammy is like winning that Super Bowl trophy. I guess that's the thing. It, it would be a nice accomplishment, but it's not the end of the world, in my opinion. I mean, it, so, you know, there's lots of artists that probably have a Grammy sitting on their fireplace mantle or maybe in their closet, but they don't have a career. You know, and we have a career. We have fans that come to our shows. And I'd much rather have that than a trophy to, to tell you that you're important you know it's nice like I said it, if we ever got one it was nice to be nominated and, and acknowledge that we're that we mean something in, in the industry that we're making our mark but you know if we don't it's not the end of the world either we have fans that we could come to and play for we live to play live we're a live band. We love to be on stage and we love to interact with the audience and we love to have the energy exchange. If there's 
any downside at all. It just would be that we miss our families when we're gone. Three out of four of us are married and have children, and it's it's tough to be away from them from for any length of time. But uh, the payoff for us is being able to go out on stage and do what we love to do every day. So, uh, how do you keep up, manage a, a good show day after day? Do you do you train or live healthy? Or? Some of us do. <laughs> some of us don't. Um, yeah, so, I mean, some of the guys will go work out at the hotel gym or, or something, and some of us were too busy drinking the night before and don't have the energy to get up and, and do it. But um, you know, the thing that keeps us going, it still comes back to the live performance. I think that to do it day, night after night, it's once we get up on stage and, and you hear the crowd's reaction, that fires you up. That gets you motivated and pumped up. And when they, the more energy they give us, the more energy we give back. Actually, yeah. I mean, as disturbed, it was. Uh, it was almost probably 16 years to, to the date because it was around. It was a Thanksgiving show that we did at Champs. Champs, right? And you know, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, right? So it was probably 16 years ago today. Actually, yeah. the night the night before Thanksgiving. Okay, right. Um, yeah, just a big. Uh, we had an opportunity to uh, support a Black Sabbath tribute band that was from our town, and they were amazing band. They had a built-in crowd. They they always drew a lot of people, and we had known the guys around, you know, locally, and they knew that we put this new band together, and they gave us the opportunity to play with them. So um, it was great because I mean that this time of year. And, States too is uh, you know, everybody's off work and going out, and we knew it would be a full house, and that was that's why we had to you know decide disturbs the name of the band, and we had to put all this together within three months, and yeah, that was at the first show for us. Were you nervous? Pardon me. Were you nervous before the show? No, I mean we've all played out in other local bands before, so we you know we were already used to being on stage. Um, you know, like I said, I, I guess maybe because it was so new as Disturbed, it was only three months, I guess we were, you know, still trying to work out the kinks and trying to, you know, be as tight of a band as we could. But we, we clicked together pretty, pretty fast. Um, you know, Disturbed never did, but I believe both of us did in, in previous bands when we were in other local bands. It's <clears throat> part of growing up, part of being a young band is going out there and seeing if your band has got it and going out and competing against other ones. It's also a good way to meet people and earn some new fans too. You might get some other fans from other bands that may enjoy your stuff as well. So it's always something cool too, but we never did that as disturbed. Yeah. But it's not so important to win that contest, just to play live. But it was always great. But there's also other things that come with it that are just as good too. Real easy. <laughs> we make it easy for them because we are a hard working band. And I know they, they could say they do a lot of work. I think they got it pretty easy, in my opinion, because, you know, we're, we're, we're a machine. You know, we've always, everybody's just been motivated and uh, even before we had management or a record deal, we we're, have our heads on straight. You know, we're very hungry, we're very motivated and we, all of us collectively, want this to be our, our lives. It was our, our goal to have a career at, at doing this and we were a promoting machine. You know, we were out giving out cassette samplers, if you remember what cassette tapes were back then and uh, CDs and t-shirts and we were out promoting at every concert that came into town. We were at, you know, Corn would come into town, Tool, whoever was passing through, we would be at them promoting, giving our stuff out for free to try to turn people onto our music. And uh, so we've always been a hardworking, dedicated band and, and I think our, our managers uh, got it pretty easy with us, you know, because we want to work. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.